What's up everybody, it's Carl, aka Carl Drum Tech, and today let's talk about how there's no crying in Drumline. Cue the music. All right, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button, it's the red button down below that says subscribe. That way you're notified anytime I put out a new video in regards to marching arts, marching bands, drum lines, inter percussion, drum corps, all that good stuff. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss a single upload. Now also make sure that notification bell is ringing as well. That way for sure you'll be notified anytime I put out a new video. So subscribe, make sure that notification bell is ringing, and let's get the video. Okay, so uh, what do you guys think of my new camera lens here? Uh, this is a Canon 80D. I bought a new uh, 18 to 35 millimeter Sigma lens. Uh, it's a 1.8. Um, maxed out on the uh, f-stop right now uh, very little light out here so what do you guys think I bumped up the ISO all the way for those camera geeks out there um, let me know what you think of this all right so um, otherwise I'm thinking about getting another one for my other ADD camera so uh, before I talk about today's topic, um, let's give you a quick little drum lesson, okay? So one of the things that I love to do with my students to help improve their double strokes is, uh, first of all, teaching the exercise a uh, ABC, or SHUPS, or not SHUPS, um, you know, Stanford Shuffle. Okay, so what I might do is I might tell them, okay, play all that on the right hand. Okay, now, that exercise you know, can do a lot in terms of like, you know, building your chops to play double strokes. Make sure you're bouncing, make sure nice and strong on both notes, okay? But that in itself might not be enough. So what I might do is I might tell them, okay, now play that all in the right hand. Now play a quarter note on the left hand. Okay, so there's a very specific rhythm uh, that those, you know, that, the, the, uh, that, that rhythm makes with the downbeat, right? One E, a two, and a three E, and four and, okay? The other thing is, there's times where you notice, right, where it hits at the same time. Oops, that's a prime example. Make sure you don't have any flams during those moments. Ah, again. One more time. Ah. Ah, okay, so I want you to have that kind of, um, you know, attention to detail, right? So if you hear a flam, don't say, you can say, ah, ah, like I did. Uh, but you can, you know, just uh, be hard on yourself and be like, no, that's not good enough. Start again, right? And just try to make sure you get that nice pop sound, okay? Now, obviously, you do this on the left as well. Ah, and there's a flam at the end there, okay? So that's something I need to work out, right? So if you're doing that, make sure you work that out as well, okay? Now, the other thing I would suggest is um, fill in the spaces. Okay, so you're listening for that nice even 60 notes, right, and not go, right? You'll know very quickly if your diddles are crossed or too open. Okay, same thing on the left. Okay, so try ABC, at least start with the A part, do it all in one hand, and then do, um, you know, quarter note check, all right, on the other hand, and then you can also do a fill-in on the other hand as well, all right? So try that out to improve your diddles. So the thing I want to talk about today is just, um, you know, the idea that uh, there's no crying in drumline. Uh, you know, you want to make sure that you're always tough, uh, that, you know, you just deal with it, deal with whatever issues there, there are. And I've certainly said this to many people who I've marched with, uh, people who I've taught, where it's just like, yo, get over it, okay, let's drum figure it out, right? Those are some common phrases uh, that were used when I was uh, in my playing days. Um, I don't know, like uh, I think these days, it's really important to acknowledge mental health. I think mental health is, is, is an important topic to talk about. Um, the activity is hard, right? Uh, there's a lot of things that go on. There's a lot of pressure. Uh, there's a lot of things that are being asked of you. Uh, you have a lot of responsibility. And sometimes if you don't live up those, to those responsibilities, you know, uh, either your section leader can get on you, your actual section can get on you, you know, the whole core, the whole group, whatever can get on you. Um, you know, you might get on yourself. There's a lot of pressure, right, that, you, that can be put upon yourself. And sometimes, yes, you want to try to step up and be strong. And I absolutely advocate that. I mean, I have many videos where I talk about, you know, you got to block out the noise. You got to be strong internally. You got to be happy inside and all that stuff. And you got to just fight through it, right? All that is true. And I, I, I firmly believe in that concept. However, um, I think it's okay sometimes to feel weak. 
I think it's okay sometimes to just feel a little bit overwhelmed. Take a minute to just like let it sit there. Let it be like, man, this is this is terrible. I am not handling this very well. Um, you know, where to where like to a point where maybe you might even break down and cry about it. And I'm telling you right now, if you've ever been in that situation, or if you ever face with that situation in the future, I'm telling you it's okay. Like it's okay to vent. It's okay to let that out. It's okay to you know, feel overwhelmed and feel weak and have a moment of weakness. And if you need to, just like break down, just be like, man, like this fucking sucks, right? Um, I've, I've certainly dealt with that uh, in my playing days. I've certainly dealt with that uh, in my working career. I've certainly de dealt with that just right now, even in my current life currently, um, where it's just like there's so much pressure as an entrepreneur, um, as a business owner, as a self-employed person, uh, somebody who you know just uh, basically works 24/7 every single day. Um, there's a lot of pressure. Uh, there's a lot of things that need to get done, and um, I myself can feel overwhelmed. So, you know, I had my moments, you know, where I had to break down and just like feel weak and allow myself to have that moment. Um, and I felt better afterwards. And you know, I think it's uh, you know, I think that's always the, the good thing about it is that you know, if you let it out, you'll feel better afterwards. Um, so I'm telling you, I'm giving you permission that if you ever feel, if you're ever in that situation, uh, you have my permission, at least personally, uh, that it's okay to like, you know, feel weak and vulnerable in that moment. Um, yes, same time, step it up. Same time, be strong. Same time, you know, put on your happy face. Okay. But at the same time, you know, like, uh, let's acknowledge that, you know, life is hard. Um, the things that are being asked of you are, is hard and it's okay to acknowledge that and, um, you know, just acknowledge that, you know, maybe you're not able to handle it in this current moment. Does that make sense? All right. So, um, guys, uh, this is just a little bit personal, you know, kind of like uh, ranting, I guess I could say, I could say this is my own personal catharsis and release. So this is why I, this is why the topic of the day is this. Um, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you got something out of it. If you did, uh, do, you, do me a huge favor, hit that like button down below. If you have any questions or comments, leave, me, leave it in the comments below as well. Let's add to this conversation. Have you ever had a moment where you're just like, fuck man <laughs> this is all so fucking hard right like and you're just totally overwhelmed and you know like maybe you want to feel like giving up you can't give up of course but it's like you know you're just like damn man it's so difficult right and then just have a moment to yourself where you're like okay let me just cry it out if i need to right punch a wall if i need to um and you know acknowledge that things are hard and then afterwards feel better and be like okay i'm ready to attack this thing again right have you ever been in that situation? All right, um, please share in the comments below. Maybe there's other people too who would see that and have the courage to admit that, yeah, like you know, we're all, it's all, it's possible for all us to, for all of us to feel weak. It's not always possible for us to always be strong and be happy, right? And as much as I advocate that all day long about being happy, about you know, um, you know, bearing, uh, like, you know, just dealing with situations, right? Um, you know, and in a positive manner. Um, sometimes, you know, even I'm not capable of doing that all the time. Okay, so uh, all right, cool. Uh, leave that in the comments below, add, 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 add to the conversation as well. If you have not subscribed yet, after I told you to subscribe, make sure you subscribe right now so you don't miss a single upload. And uh, if you feel like this video could help somebody else out, please share this video with them. Uh, sorry if this video is getting a little dark, metaphorically and literally, but uh, <laughs> hopefully uh, still you got something out of it, okay? So cool, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, you should totally watch more of my videos by clicking over here and subscribing over here. Peace. Catch you guys in the next video. Bye.